Hello again. Now, now it's time to make a route from the Excel data that we manipulated in the last video. So, so we need to import that first into the street. I'm using streets and trips to 2013. Um, if you're using 2011, it'll work the same way. The icons are a little, a little different. Um, I would suggest. If you have any rural territory, it's 40 bucks to get to that. And it's worth every penny. There are a lot of rural streets that were missing before. So instead of typing 15 or 20, maybe by hand, where you can't find them, um, it, it maybe lower it down to five or eight. So maybe half as much. Choose the first option, import data wizard, and it's going to open up a folder. because I work out of this folder a lot. So, so I'm just, just going to choose test 2814, which was where I had my, my data. Click open. Our address, zip code, city, and state columns already have the right heading. All, all these other data, that's where we typed other data. In the top, top of the spreadsheet columns, so we don't have to choose it here. And then name. So, so we'll just click finish. And it's going to find. So all 85 addresses in this zip code. Now, now I want to add my, my, my house as the start address. 
all these gray spots here that are my, my house is in Charlotte. So I'll click the red angle at the top. Draw a and selected area and add to route. I want to add them to my routes, so I click add to route. And it adds all 85 of them, so I have number one up here is me, and then 85 that I pulled from my Excel spreadsheet. Click optimize stop and now I'm gonna let this this video take a break while it optimizes it. stops in the most efficient order. And we're just going to get, get directions. Now, as we scroll down, you'll notice at each house, you have the person's name. The The address. So all, all the data is there, there at, at a glance. Now, when you print this out, and what I'll do is print a 
a PDF so we, we can look, look and see what what it would look like. I choose driving directions only, and I uncheck and include overview map so that I only get the directions. I don't need the map. Click OK. In this case, it asks me what I want to call it. So I'm just going to name Two one four, and there we go. And here, here comes my PDF. And that, that's what it's going to look like when you print it. I normally do is take this route with me, and in the open space here between the stops is where I make my notes, and you just have to have your own shorthand. I put an F for furniture, a C for car, dog is D O G, decoration is D O C O. And then I write my picture numbers, and away I go. Then at the end of the day, I have just my map to deal with. I don't have a sheet for I don't have, have anything extra. I would, would just, just have this PDF file, which is 12 pages. And that's all I would have. Uh, then I would using of a bunch of paper. 
numbers. So if you have any further questions, again, you can always call, text, or email me. with it. If you have any questions, again, let me know. If you have a different version of any of this software and need some help figuring out these steps on that version of software, Best to help, help you out. Thanks a lot.